Hey folks, it's Brad LaDrew here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Alberta in the middle of winter. And what do you know? We got a beautiful white frost tricoat GMC Denali Ultimate. Okay, this is our first Ultimate we've got in the new model 2019 year. And it is gorgeous. Let's get into this thing. First off, you can see it's a 6.2 liter Ecotec 3. 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque. More horsepower and torque than the other guys. And you've got the fuel economy as well. You can see the big, nice, new 22-inch wheels. You can also see we've got power boards, Denali power boards. Little neat little thing here. Just check this out. Just touch at the end of them. Out they come. Step into the box. Easy to get access to something on the side of your truck. Just touch the top. Back she goes. Look at the front end, the C-shaped LEDs, LED fog lights, which are vertical. They look really sharp. Look at all this chrome, my goodness. And something that's uh, new for this year, I know it can be hard to see, but this is a little plastic cover right here that pops off. And if you pop this off, this is where your, uh, um, your block heater cord comes from the factory now, and you can plug it in with this little cap taken off. So pretty cool. And of course, we've got all the new surround view cameras, all that stuff. So you can see there's a camera in the front grill. There's a camera up high. You can see that triangle for all your forward collision, automatic low speed pedestrian braking, things like that. Moving on over. Great little profile, nice light on it too. Very, very sharp vehicle. Even taking something like, you can see inside here what the light is helping us out. You can see the felt line Kevlar backed liners so you don't get the pinging and panging when you're on gravel roads okay same thing on the back very important for comfort inside the cabin you can see here as well you can see this rubberized coating this undercoat is all the way along the whole way down right down to here i'm not sure if you can see that transition but there you go and it's painted over so you've got that little extra layer of protection for your vehicle you've got this little rock guard grommet right here because that's a leading edge on the back of your vehicle here so you don't get rock chips and whatnot. Another thoughtful design done to this vehicle. Moving on over to the back, the increased, the size of your easy corner step. So now if you've got a big, say, uh, work boot, uh, steel toe boot, you can fit it in there now. So this is increased. And in the past, we didn't have side blind zone alert or rear cross traffic alert. Um, if you look at some of our competitors like Ford, they have it in their tail light. It's a very, very expensive tail light for ourselves. It's actually in behind right here. So again, just in behind this little piece, plastic panel, a little new technology from GM. You see, you've got your sonar sensors front and back. And you've also, that looks really sharp, eh? The Denali grill, Denali logo, I should say. You can see first ever on our 2019s, we've got the integrated dual exhaust. Looks really, really sharp. Okay. And then we've got the multi-pro tailgate. Now, I'll take the fob out of my pocket here, take a look. So you can see, we could double tap this, and you'll see, down she goes. Very, very nice. Now, let's say we put some two by four studs or something in here. We can just pull on this handle, and now we've got a little block off, so nothing rolls out the back of the truck if you're accelerating a little bit. So a nice little handy thing here. We can put her back up. We push just this bottom button that's just a folder down and if we push the top button this is what we call in canada the tim horton's workstation so here you go you're with your partners in crime your your co-workers and you're talking about what needs to get done on the job site today uh, one of our little tricks we like to do say if you want to use it to get into the back of the truck you're not using the easy corner step which we already know one foot here put your hand right here you're in the back of the box See the factory spray in liner, really, really sharp. But again, if we just hit this bottom one and then the top one, down she folds, push on the little handle, and now you've got the full multi-pro tailgate in action. You can see here, we can just, now we've got a big handle here, easy to grip. Okay, just pull that lever up, lock her back into place. You wanna fold this back up, pretty straightforward. Very little effort into this. It's very, very light. It's all aluminum tailgate, actually. 
just like the doors, both bolt-on doors, all four doors are now full aluminum. In the previous generation, our hoods were aluminum, and now, obviously, our hood is still aluminum, but we got aluminum doors and aluminum this. Now, your box side, your fenders, that sort of stuff is all structure. Your uh, bed is all structure as well, so that's all steel, all still steel. Something else that's new, so looking in the box here, you can see we've got your lights here instead of being up in under the plastic where they were before. And then something that's really sweet as well, as you can see here in another light, but we also have a power plug in out here as well. You notice the cutouts are deeper than they were in the previous generation. The box is taller as well. So even though this is a five foot eight box, this actually has more storage capacity than your F-150 for say volume wise in a six and a half foot box or the same thing with a Ram. So even though you have a shorter box easier in the city, you still have more volume of cargo. And even your cutouts right here for your uh, wheels, your wheel wells, arches, this is now wider than all of our competitors. So it's you can actually fit a bigger quad or razor in here. Just really, really nice. You can see the power sliding rear window. Let's go inside. Well, actually, you just open up this too. You can see we've got the diesel coming. And obviously here you can see it's a capless fuel door. Oh, proximity sensors on all the doors. So again, you just touch once, it unlocks just that door. Touch twice, unlocks all four doors. Really, really sharp materials. You can see really plush, soft. You can see my hands moving here. Really soft, plush leather. And even this has got a bit of uh, give and texture to it. You can see this really nice wood with this chrome. It's very, very sharp. You can see your leather inside. Our cab is now four inches wider than the old generation. So you got more cab space in here as well. You can just catch hold to the seat anywhere at all. Pull that straight up. You can see it comes with an integrated little storage box. You can get covers and whatnot for it as well. Whoops, getting a bit of glare there from the sun. And nice big flat four as well. So if you have a big puppy or whatever, and this is just two screws. You can see, let's get in there. Just two screws to remove this. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to, to remove that as well. Again, catch all that seat anywhere. Pull it down. You can see a nice, really big center console armrest right here. You can see we've got heated Seats in the rear, three levels of heat, USB-C, USB, another power outlet there, some nice vents. And again, nice chrome, big cup holders here on top as well. Nice little thoughtful thing. Look at this on both sides. You can pull on this, put a washer, jug, uh, jug of washer fluid or whatnot in there. Pretty sweet. Uh, again, something I think is nice and thoughtful. You can just push on this button here on either side of these. So again, if it's just yourself in the truck or, or say yourself and, and your business partner, if you want to have better visibility, visibility at the back, just push that button. Pretty straightforward. Let's do a little overview inside. Let's move on into the driver's side here. So again, that really nice wood. Let me try to get in here and get a nice close up. Really nice texture on this with the chrome. It looks super sharp. Again, really nice plush materials. You see your power door locks here. You see your power windows automatic up and down on the passenger and driver sides. You lock out your windows, lock out your fold in your mirrors, adjust your power mirrors, and you've got your power memory seats. Of course, you can have your mirrors set to power fold and your seat to come into the position that you want it to be in every time you get in the vehicle. That sun is causing havoc here. I hope this turns out good, guys. Um, and as well, you can see here the new tech, some new technologies, your uh, camera, your car, and your star here it means your side blind zone alert and your rear cross traffic alert as well. New technologies. You can see here you've got 10-way power driver's seat on both driver's and passenger side. You can see the nice Denali logo here. Very plush, heated and cooled leather. You can see it's nice and perforated as well. Let's move on inside. So here inside, it's really nice material on the steering wheel. I really like this. It's very, very sharp. Okay, you can see we've got the heated steering wheel. Whoa, we'll zoom in here. And we've got the forward collision alert. We can set our gap and our distance on that as well by just touching the button. Moving over here, we've got some new stuff for 2019. So again, we've got the AutoTrack 4x4 
four high, four low, and two high. And then you've got this jog dial. When you turn that jog dial, you'll notice that it goes from touring to sport to off-road to tow haul mode and touring. And I got to tell you guys, you need to drive the vehicle. When you drive the vehicle, you will notice the difference between touring, sport, and off-road mode. Uh, I certainly noticed the difference between uh, touring and sport. Uh, engineers spent a lot of time of real hours and simulated hours, and they figured out ways to make this truck handle, dampen the steering so you get more of a really uh, nice refined feel, uh, sporty feel when you're traveling quickly, um, all based off of this little jog dial here. So it's important to point out this this auto track 4x4 is now standard equipment we no longer have even if you had a base model without this big center console you wouldn't have the 4x4 on the floor so again that's awesome all of our trucks now have the auto track 4x4 and the difference is depending on it, your trim level it would have um, a it wouldn't have four low it would have a uh, like a, a, a mountain mode or an off-terrain mode but when you go into all the mid-level trims and higher, they all have two high, four high, four low, and auto four by four. And the lowest end trims will have auto four by four, four high, two high, so two wheel drive, and then it'll have like a mountain mode or a snow mode right here instead. So pretty sweet. And again, this jog dial here controls your drive modes. And again, they dampen the steering, the shift points in your transmission, pretty slick stuff. But let's take a look in here. Look at that GMC logo on the uh, gauge cluster. It looks really, really sharp. You've got this little jog dial, a little update from the previous generation that controls what we see here. So we can go left and right. What do we want? Music, navigation, all that stuff's all here. And then we can jog down and look at what's going on. Tire pressure, air filter life. Sorry, I'm a bit shaky here, guys. Sorry. Brake pad life fuel economy, your follow a distance. So again, with your, uh, with your um, gap distance we just said earlier, driver's assistance, transmission fluid, temperature, trailer brake, and then your four wheel drive and it'll tell you your pitch, your yaw, stuff like that. And then go back to, a lot of people keep it here. And if you notice, it's got this little white uh, square to the right. As you're driving, this camera up top that's in this, in behind this, uh, this cluster here, or this, this uh, plastic panel, actually reads and takes um, a reading off the reflective um, road signs and it'll tell you 50 and then when you're dropping into a 30 zone it, this will change to 30 and then when you're on the highway you go to that 30 zone and it goes to a 70 and then say to a 110 it'll change this to 110 so again you never have to be looking for signs anymore honestly uh, that's one of the things i've been very bad with in the past my wife will laugh if she watches this because it's very true moving over here to the center stack you notice your charging mat here uh, for your modern phones is a lot bigger than the old one it used to be here in that center console part but it would only fit say a certain size of phone so now it's a little bit bigger which is super nice you can see we've got push button start everybody loves that um, you know keep your key in your pocket some people are going to go bananas for it but it's pretty cool trailer brake controller USB-C USB power outlet you got another power outlet and again I was power pointing out that power outlet inside the box you push this button to enable that power outlet Okay, pretty cool. You've got auto start stop, so you can see right over here where it says auto stop. If you are an operator, something like that, you don't want that to be turning on and off when you're at intersections with your foot on the brake. Now your auto stop start feature is turned off. You've got your lane keep assist right here. So this is enabled or right now it's enabled or disabled. And so what that steering wheel will do, it'll actually steer you back in your, in, in your lane um, with your hands are off the wheel and again it uses that front camera up here and measures the reflective paint paint in the center line and the shoulder line so pretty neat technology and steers you back in and if it's at the end of its limits it'll say take action take wheel and give you an audible a visual and a vibration in your seat so again if you fell happen to fall asleep heaven forbid it could really prevent a bad collision or accident you can see you've got your heated back and bum in three levels or just your back and, you, and you've got your three levels of air conditioned seat as well or cooled seats. Uh, you can see you've got updated control, a little, uh, little blue, little red letting you know, nice little visual touch, automatic climate control. Uh, you can see up here at top, you've got your new screen. Again, it's an 8.4 inch screen. Um, fantastic size, looks and, and operates very seamlessly. You touch audio, you're into audio. We're in AM, uh, AM or sorry, FM right now. Go to XM, go to AM. You can see how slick and quick it is. Hit the home button here. 
want to go to navigation really really again quick how all this stuff works for us and again you've got apple carplay and android auto so again we've got apps that are getting approved all the time plus you've got the familiarity of your phone that you're always using it will become this screen which looks great everybody loves 4g lte wi-fi and our onstar in our vehicles which is fantastic our outside temperature and also the time right now and you can slide across and we can touch trailering and cameras. So if we touch camera as an example, you can see we've got the surround vision camera. We got our backup camera. We can change this to the, you know, to make it bigger. See you're backing up. You know, you want to see down the sides, you're parking tight to the building. You're backing up to a hitch, right? All of these little adjustments that you can do on the fly are super, super sweet. You've got a Bose Premium. 10 speaker audio system with subwoofer is just it pounds going up top here you can see you've got your garage door opener with your home link garage door opener you can program three garage doors your sunroof and your vent and your shade you can open and close and this is something that's new so you got your normal rear view mirror here and if we flip this little switch it's now a panoramic ca camera which a lot of Cadillacs have had for quite a while and you're now seeing in our GMC product and really slick and you can change the brightness on this when you're driving at night you can even change the zoom on it so if i just touch this button here i can change the brightness touch it again i can change the zoom so say if i want to zoom in or zoom out uh, really really slick real time and this is high definition just like this has been updated to be high definition uh, this is uh, um, this screen here or this technology here in a lot of our trucks was uh, monochromatic and now almost all of our trucks even our entry level trucks um, actually, all of our entry level trucks, this is color. And again, you're talking about Denali Top Dog. I'm going to try to zoom here. Sorry, guys. And with this, I'm not sure if you can see it there, but you also have your heads up display in this truck. Uh, moving inside the center console, you can see it's a very large console. You got SD card navigation now, another USB C, another USB old auxiliary. So if you're still kicking around that old iPod, and that little light you can see in there but it's very very comfortable quiet vehicle the big thing like i said these drive modes are amazing uh really have to get behind the wheel of these things to really appreciate it and they look fantastic um some people absolutely uh, you know love the outgoing style and didn't want it to change much and i like how gm updated it uh, just a little uh, the chevrolet needed a change and it's certainly a drastic change from the 18 to a 19 but i really like the updates uh, that they did with the outside of this truck. Uh, I'm just going to go into drive here. But very nice vehicle. Again, you've got all the latest safety and technology in this vehicle. Here's a better. Now you can see that heads up display a little bit better. There you go. And you can change what you see there. So your, just your speed, your gap distance, your traveling north. It's got your, uh, your lane keep assist on the top left. And again, back to this screen. So pretty neat stuff. And even going into something here like your trailering modes, zoom in, you can set up profiles for different trailers. So you can have like your enclosed trailer, you can have all that different stuff. You can get outside your vehicle with your, uh, with your smartphone and click on okay. And you can test all your lights and everything standing outside your trailer with your phone and just make, and it'll tell you that they all checked. You can have different profiles for different trailers, like I said, so an enclosed trailer, flat deck trailer, snowmobile trailer, things like that, which makes the truck will recognize which trailer when it's hooked up, you just touch. And another thing you got a world's first, that when you connect your trailer to this vehicle, if someone disconnects it while the vehicle's not running, um, it'll set off your vehicle's alarm. So it's a, a, the world's first trailer theft alert. Um, you've got apps you can download, like your weather channel or weather network app, I should say, there's all kinds of different things there and even you can go into settings here and you can see what this truck has for say touch vehicle and you've got collision and detection systems so you've got alert type safety alert seat forward collision with alert and brake front pedestrian detection with automatic brake you got lane change alert you've got park assist you got rear cross traffic alert so again some of those technologies and they tell you you can even customize if you want an audible alert or if you want your seat vibration things like that so there you go, guys. I know it's been a bit of a long video. It's an awesome truck. I really hope you come down to Western GM and check out this truck. Um, we're here. We're giving free test drives all the time. And if you're not in Drumheller, maybe you're in the United States. We appreciate you guys checking out these videos. Um, 
you know, and, and still go down to your local dealer and talk about how sweet and nice this truck is. Um, when you look at payload and towing, it's all increased over the old generation. So this one here will, it's payload uh, stock is about 2200 pounds of payload now we've got the power boards we got the bigger wheels on this with the 22s so your your payload might be closer to 1900 or 2000 pounds but still that's up from the standard uh, 1600 pounds in the old generation 2018 outgoing body style and same with towing almost all of the tr these trucks now tow 9800 pounds and if you get into the trailer max they're quite a bit more uh, whereas uh, the old generation, most of them were right around that 9,100 to 9,500 pounds of towing. So you, again, more capabilities, uh, more technology, more comfort, more quiet. And really, that's what I can't get enough of is with these driving modes and with how quiet this thing is, it's unbelievable. And the audio system, the Bose audio system in this truck is tight. It pounds. I really encourage you to put on your favorite tunes when you get into this thing. You're going to love it. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for checking out our videos. We've got more coming all the time. This is Brad, sales manager here at Western GM in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada. Cheers.